Hey y'all, welcome back to another Thoughts of an Introvert video. My name is Brittany. I want to say thank you to everybody who subscribed and tuned in to my last video. I had no idea that it was going to pick up so much momentum. Thank you. Um, people that left comments, love all y'all. It's all love. Just thank you so much. And hopefully, you know, this video might not be as entertaining because there was so much craziness going on in the world. But thank you for sticking with me. Also, if anybody would like a therapist or somebody to talk to, I know it's about to be the fall season. And that's when the depression really sinks in for me. So I wanted to make sure that I was prepared. So I want everybody else to be prepared. So check out Psychology Today. The link is in the description box and find you a therapist. You know, they have um, a place where you can look and see what insurance that the therapists take or if you could pay out of pocket. They also have telehealth, which, you know, you don't even have to go into the office. You can just, you know, set up the video calls with the therapist directly. So it's really cool. And I just want everybody to take care of your mental health. You know, it's crazy out here. So let's just, you know, get that taken care of and let's get into the video. <laughs> Also, y'all, I'm sorry if my fan is, like, really loud, but I'm trying to, like, tune it out. But I'm kind of cold and I'm hot at the same time, so I gotta have my fan on. But, you know, I just wanted to show y'all, uh, remember when me and my sister and our vlog, we went to uh, Color Me Mine and we made, like, uh, you can grab a piece of, like, um, something to paint. I don't know, it was just everything you could think of was in there. So, I chose a mug. Actually, my sister chose it for me and I really liked it. But, yeah, it's giving you, like, you know, a real nervous, like, Vincent Van Gogh. I really, really like it. Um, I just, I envisioned me painting it like this. And I was just like, this is what I want to, you know, have my soup and, you know, my tea this fall. So, I really wanted, like, a blue mug. So, I like it. I like it. It's really cute. And so, after you get done painting it, um, I think it's, like, an extra 10 bucks or something that they actually... Um, put the hot glass thing on it and put the ceramic like finish I don't know really what you call it but it makes it look glossy and it looks good so I can't wait I'm just gonna be naming off a bunch of random stuff that's been on my brain so like here it goes number one as an introvert when we always like step out of our comfort zone it always gets abused it, it just does like people you give them an inch they take a mile it's like oh you gonna come out with me okay we're gonna do this every week or somebody like oh you we on the phone you gonna be on the phone with me every night it's like like people don't understand especially when you're an introvert with social anxiety how much like you work up the nerve like i'm learning how to have the audacity right but i'm working up the nerve to like do the things that I do and I just try to do them scared like anything that I want to do you know but at the same time like people just really just like oh you coming with me or you going with me we, we together or it's just like 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 no like calm down <laughs> like I'm literally like going through life you know trying to you know create things but I feel like man like when when people want you to gravitate towards them and get acclimated to what they're doing it's no problem but when you try to explain to them like i'm an introvert you know i'm i'm kind of shy i'm quiet they're like okay yeah whatever you're coming with me and it's just like chill <laughs> the city girls okay so jt and carisha are the perfect example of an extrovert and an introvert working together and it makes sense and everybody's like oh you know uh carisha got her own show and stuff like that that's good because she has more of the relatable personality and stuff like that like she's really likable jt on the other hand she is the better rapper and personally she is very beautiful like she is drop dead gorgeous but she also gets in her own way when it comes to like negativity and that's something that introverts like we definitely get in our own way if we let people's negativity 
override everything we got going on because we can be our worst enemy because we don't care after that we into it with everybody like it don't even matter because we don't bother anybody and we're the most caring people but when somebody tries us usually when people see us we in the middle of some conflict because we just you know we don't care at the end of the day but i really love their dynamic and i want to see jt get on more people's tracks because i feel like everybody loves her verses and carisha keep doing carisha please because you ask the questions that the girls want to hear so you know i wasn't sure if i wanted to talk about this but i feel like Lil dirk and india's relationship i wasn't that like invested as like other people were because you know they were saying like you know they're like the it couple from chicago i'm guessing i don't know i just know they were everywhere and everybody like really had a lot to say but honestly because i tried to explain how those type of relationships go before like anytime somebody is talking about like superficial things about you like oh your low body count and things like that and it's not based off anything real like anytime it's in social media the public eye you're like oh this person is 100 percent loyal to me and you know she's in interviews giving advice about how to be loyal to a guy and it's like it's it's that pick me energy and then the pimp culture like as soon as he was you know faced with some type of temptation there goes that powerful it couple going down the drain that whole image of what you thought it was if it really wasn't and i really feel bad honestly because i i did think they would be together even though you know you know things happen i would i wouldn't be surprised you know if they did get back together but if she wanted to be on her you know i'm uh, picking up my dignity and walking away and uh being on my grown woman and doing my own thing i would applaud her for that but I also say, also, like I'm telling y'all, go to like psychology today and look for a therapist in your area. Because when you go through situations like that, even though you try to act like, yeah, I'm about my business, I'm good, I don't need him, it's good to talk to somebody about it. Because you, you're definitely hurting that you were that loyal to somebody who, like, at a drop of a dime, like, would publicly, like, humiliate you like that, you know? So it's been a lot of talk about diversity in movies and TV shows recently with uh, Halle Bailey playing Ariel and I can't wait for it. Um, it's just an amazing time but you know I'm just ignoring the ignorance and the racism and all that stuff because The Lord of the Rings is top notch. It's top tier. It's so good. If you're not a Lord of the Rings fan first of all don't don't even speak on it because people that don't even watch it was trying to write negative reviews about it and stuff like giving it thumbs down first of all that show is everything okay and i would suggest if you have amazon prime check it out really good stuff um also i wanted to speak on it but i i don't know if it's just going over my head but i also feel like Tyler Perry came out and said something about he he hopes that even though diversity is happening and there'll be a lot of uh you know black and brown people in seats that they weren't prepared for I don't know if he was saying like in a way that you know that we weren't like there yet like we were unprepared not qualified but let me tell you about something like that like I remember me working at the hotel and i'm not in that industry anymore so i feel like I can, I can talk about it but i remember you know grown not grown men but like 25 somethings like or whatever um they would have a list you know they would be non-people of color a lot of times a guy and he would have like a sticky note of everything that he was supposed to do like he's like so my uncle is the ceo of the company you know nepotism babies and he was like i'm supposed to be staying at this hotel i don't know what i'm doing in the morning i'm just going with the flow dude didn't know anything but his you know co-workers couldn't wait to like rat him out like oh that's the ceo's little nephew he pretty much got a free ride in life ain't don't know anything about anything but he just show up 
and it's all prepared for him and i'm just saying like because of that i just feel like they always say oh we got to be like 10 times better and this that and third first of all show up get into these rooms i will say in your in the meantime like prepare but we got to stop i feel like because we feel like we're not you know 10 times better that we couldn't even like get into the rooms but you gotta try like i honestly feel like this is the perfect time to just you know take up space you know what i mean like um i just i just feel like that's him saying this i i, I feel like it's in a good place but at the same time like he could have said like i want all your us to be prepared so i have like acting classes like i'm gonna have make sure we prepare for these roles that we finna get i just feel like the way he said it was almost kind of like oh you know y'all pipe down because we ain't prepared i feel like we're more than ready we we're about it like anything that we're in it's good and again y'all check out lord of the rings because it's so fire like not even just like people just want to say oh you just put uh uh black and brown people in there to uh you know fill out the quota but it's actually really good and i love seeing it and i feel like uh jrr tolkien I, I feel like this is how he would want it to be because it was you know middle earth you need black and brown people in middle earth like that's a given like it should be the main people but we're not gonna get into that you know what i mean it's sad to say this but even though i really admire her i do and I admire her for a different reason, but Nicki Minaj is turning into a mean girl on her, whether it's like from the podcast or for from her, like her Twitter account. It's just like, wow, like I didn't want you to be the villain or the mean person, like, but it, it's like that's who you are. And and I'll say this too because I know a lot of people don't believe in astrology, but I will say this like about. You know Sagittarius when we feel like backed up in a corner we do go in like we just let have it's just negative it's kind of like I said before with the introvert thing but with Sagittarius it's mostly like again one of the ways that you could be in your own way is if you dwell on the negative like if we're positive people we're the most loving people like I feel like before, like Nikki, when she was showing people love in the beginning, I feel like it was love. But now I just feel like it's just like this, this, uh, I don't know what it is, but I don't want to get in her personal business. But I do feel like she is like an abuser apologist. And I don't like that because not only did, you know, rest in peace to P&B Rock, but trying to put like oh we don't show people locations i'm like if you go into a dangerous neighborhood it's gonna be somebody because i remember we have a lot of like celebrities that come through in chicago and so people will post randomly on facebook oh i see you know uh such and such on this street or whatever so people know when celebrities roll through anywhere so that's another thing but she was trying to blame the girlfriend and a lot of people was blaming the girlfriend for the fact that she uploaded uh and i'm talking about pnb rock but she uh, uploaded um the waffle house and they were like oh my god why would you upload chicken and waffles it's like because because maybe she didn't think that it would be like you know his last meal like she wasn't thinking like that you know what i mean and, and for them to bully her it was really sad and i feel like I just I just didn't expect that from her and the reason why I say I admire Nikki is because one time I did have a flight I can't even say it I had a flight at LaGuardia and um, my uber driver had to take the streets because the expressway was like jam-packed so I'm going through you know Brooklyn up in Queens and I'm seeing like the aesthetic I'm seeing how you know people outside is so oversaturated that like you know the style how they the language the slang and i'm just like i understand i get it like you look at Nicki minaj you like okay she came from like this oversaturated place made a name for herself and she's doing great and she has songs that go over like five genres it's like that's dope like i i get it you know what i'm saying so i always give her her flowers but you mean you mean as hell and you need to stop because it's like 
it, you turn out to be unlikable, you know, with fans that when we used to have, like rap itty bitty piggy back in high school, like by heart, like come on now, like, and you just, you turn it into like this mean girl and it's just like, ew, I don't know. It's just disappointing. That's all I have for y'all tonight. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. I love y'all and we at.